Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've just got a little quick video here for you. In fact, this, the topic I was going to talk about has changed a little bit since I originally uh, put it together. I found this grant a couple of days ago on grants.gov, and the premise of my video was going to be look out for inconsistencies between grants.gov and the information you find on a department's website. So as I looked at this grant opportunity, and potato breeding research may not be your thing, it's a little obscure, but for the people that research potato breeding, this would be extremely important. <laughs> um, so I found this grant, and you know everything kind of looked uh, everything looked cool on grants.gov. But before I ever, you know, click to apply, I like to go to the department's website by clicking this link here, which takes you to the web page. And oftentimes, and not so much in this case, but oftentimes you can get a lot of, you know, additional information on the grant and previous cycles that were funded, like. Uh, which organizations received money, uh, where where were the grants, um, where were the actual projects that were funded. That is, you, you can take a look at the geographical distribution of uh, where projects were funded throughout the states, um, you know, and uh, there might be some links to webinars from previous cycles or, you know, an, a, a date for an upcoming webinar on how to apply for the funding, information like that. Well, anyway, so when I first clicked on this page, uh, like I said a couple of days ago, all of this information here was was completely out of date. There were dates from 2017. When you clicked on the View RFA link, it took you to an RFA from it was like one or two cycles ago. The uh, the funding opportunity number uh, didn't match up with the funding opportunity number at grants.gov. So the premise, and I guess you you can still learn from this, uh, is whenever you whenever you go from grants.gov to a department's website, make sure all the information between the two uh, they all line up. Because sometimes you know when people get excited about a grant or they just get into a rush, they'll they won't check these little details. They'll just hit view RFA, download the document, and, you know, they could be a week working into a project before they realize, oh, shit, I'm, I'm working on last year's RFA instead of the current one. So always make sure that you're kind of looking out for those little details. And if you do notice inconsistencies, you can always go back. This is kind of the key here. You can always go back to grants.gov and click on the Related Documents tab because the most recent, most current RFA package will always be here. Uh, regardless, whoops, I thought that was going to open for me. Anyway, uh, the, the most current RFA will always be right here, no matter what uh, is on the department's website. So... Let me see. I had some talking points here that I wanted to go through. <laughs> Let me make sure I hit all of them. I know this is like the <laughs> this is like the most scatterbrained video presentation ever. Um, okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here. So that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, you know, just consider giving it a like or a thumbs up. Uh, feedback is always welcome. Even if you want to just say, dude, that was really scatterbrained. Uh, I always accept, uh, you know, feedback, comments, or tweet me at the Grant Doctors. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know when the next quality video is posted. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Adios.